Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. Today we are playing Scanner Somber. Um, I've been wanting to play this for a while, I've just not sat down and done it. Um, and I don't know, I have no explanation. I just wanted to play it, because it seemed cool. Uh, from what I've gathered from videos and stuff, um, you have some kind of like a light ray gun that you can shoot uh, against the walls. Um, I don't know what the controls are. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It's probably fine. Um, but you can shoot this stuff against the wall, and that creates your, like, vision. And oh, what a nice pair of goggles there. Um, so it, I, like, it, it puts these markings along the walls so you can actually see, like, in the dark. Uh, it builds the map for you by shooting these stuff. A oh, hold to fire. Okay. And depending on how far stuff is away from you, uh, the color changes. So, for example, we have this. So, if I get closer... Oh, it does. It changes as I go. So, so yeah, we're in this big cave system here. And it's pretty awesome looking. Uh, this is wild. Um, and you have to find your way around based on this. So I like how it shows, like, even on this object that you can see, here's a good way to demonstrate. I don't know how that light showed up, but, uh, and you can do with as little or as much as you want to see this. So this is very, uh, I'd say the name, it feels pretty accurate. Somber seems about right. Um, I don't know what the story is about. Um, I don't know what the purpose of this is and uh but i'm ready to find out so then just the question will be where do i go oh i can jump okay good that's good to know so this is gonna be uh mildly claustrophobic i think so if you have any problems with that uh this may not be the game for you um i think the interesting thing with this is that as you put down more lights you can see farther back but you also kind of are limited then because as it start you start to uh it, it like builds up so it kind of like blocks off the areas like there's more potential as you add more well, i guess we're going the right way because that's a loading screen like you can see all that but then you cover it up and you're like, oh, that's the wall. So now I can't see back farther. Now I have to find more things. So I'm I'm curious to see how this works. It's a big ass cave system. Um I don't think I would ever want to actually do this. Um <laughs> Oh yeah, thousands of years? Yeah, no thank you. Um after hearing of games like, uh, or listening to, I was utterly alone. No call for help would save me. I reached the surface. Yeah, no, um, no, thank you. Um, Jacob Geller's video on uh, talking about caves and cave systems. Um, dude, you have a wife at home and you're doing this. You're crazy. Um, and just talks about like how Kentucky Road Zero is kind of um, the myths, huh? Um, how like the uh, part of it is based on a real oh interesting um, but there's like an actual like park in Kentucky Road Zero where a guy ended up dying because he got caught in a cave that he thought he could manage but he was like you know ha like half a mile underground like in these tiny little vents of a cave and no one else could reach him. And he was stuck there for like two whole weeks before he finally died. And it's like, that is just terrifying. Um, I have no idea if there's anything in here, like anything alive or interactive, or if it's just um, exploring or what. Um, but my guess is just go for wherever looks like there's a distance and just keep going that way. Yep. Because, like, look, we see, like, all that stuff behind us, but then if we spray the walls, we lose that sense of self. And it's interesting because you can spray behind you, um, but, it, like, if you're just spraying 
where you are currently going, um, I don't know, like you find your way around things that you wouldn't expect. This looks like the right way. Yeah. This is quite intimidating, gotta say. Oh, I can zoom. That's good to know. Okay. I thought you said no one's been down here in thousands of years. Okay. Is this a bridge? All right. We have a bridge. Interesting. Huh. Who set these up? Did I set these up? The music is getting all dramatic now. Of course I have to cross this bridge. Why wouldn't I? Uh, what's beeping? What is this? Uh, okay. Mouse wheel to change aperture? What does that mean? Oh, I see. So, wide shot or small shot. I like the middle. Okay. I'm glad you're excited about your geological scanner. These look like steps almost. Whoa. Is that me? I don't know. Interesting. Okay, we've got the bridge. <laughs> Don't step in the cracks. Wow. What is that? Oh! <laughs> All right, clever. Oh yeah, you got me there. You got me. You tricked me, crafty devils. I even just said, don't step through the cracks. And there it was. I got distracted by whatever the heck this thing is. Interesting. These are very interesting. Huh. Okay, that's pretty cool. And the neat thing is that if I look at it from the other side, it's not going to show me anything. Huh. Okay, well, anyway. Let's keep going over the over the gaps. Keep moving. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. All right. We've got our big scan. Um, I have no idea what this is gonna bring. We've got some spooky rumors, spooky caves. We're just exploring, exploring. Was not expecting there to be other equipment. So who left that? Like, are we going to have, like, jump scares? Are there going to be people down here? Or is something going to move? That's... Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, why is there a person? Hello. You, you appear to be doing just fine. What do we got here? More of these pillars. Okay, so we've got some sort of internal structure. I'm halfway expecting that to move. I hope it doesn't. I'm not looking for a scary game. I'm looking for an interesting game. Oh, that's cool. When we scan him, everything around him <laughs> didn't fill in. Okay. Uh, let's get a more wide shot. Uh, do I have options here? looks like I do okay okay interesting I seem to have mildly trapped myself what do we got okay did I see the little save thing I think I did we have more caves to discover this is mildly claustrophobic I thought this would be cool 
and it is cool, but it's also uh, a bit exhausting. <laughs> oh boy, and a big drop down. So what's our choices? Do we take the plunge? I think we do. Oh, you gotta be more careful there. I'm waiting for like words to pop up or something. And again, I just did that to like fill in the space, but then I was like, oh, well now I don't know where I'm going back. Though at this point, I don't think I'm planning to go back. <laughs> you don't go this far into something like this and expect to be heading back. You've, you've doomed yourself, really. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Got another rickety bridge, huh? Oh, wow. Whoa, wow. Look at this. Whoa. What? Okay, now this is kind of cool. This is really cool. So, which bridge should I take? Well, that one's clearly... Okay, well, I guess now's the question of, can I die? That seems like a yes. <laughs> okay. Refresh. There we go. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, we can die. Wait, I have to do it all again? Oh god, that's terrifying. It's kind of cool because it's like it will eventually cover everything if you're just doing the like the spread shot, but it's so much faster to do it this way. So I think I actually do have to drop down and use these other bridges. Because I can't make that jump. So that's kind of neat. Okay. Cool. That bridge is very out. This bridge is also very out. So it looks like this is our best bet. Still need to watch what we're doing. It's weird because we're like walking on empty air until we get into the right area. There we go. Okay. Oh, these are stairs. Oh, this is a thing. More sculptures. More weird swords. Oh. Can I go anywhere from here? Doesn't appear to be. It's just a weird cavern thing. Don't think I can crouch. Would have told me I could. Okay. Well, that's fine. These are interesting. They look like swords. I'm assuming they're swords. Maybe they're just pillars that happen to look like swords. But I can't be sure. Okay, we're clearly not going that way. No, definitely not going that way. Probably can go this way. Can I go this way? Can can I? I don't know if uh, I don't think I can make that jump. Can I walk on the ropes themselves? Nope. <laughs> Good to know. Oof, that horrible crunch. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's a good learning experience. All right, back we go. Good thing our brain saves things. It's so weird watching it all fade out, because we know it's there. Okay, so can I make this jump then? Do I have to make this jump? I feel like I have to go that direction. But I don't know if I can make that. 
because that bridge is definitely out. And this bridge is functional for the moment. But I can't go farther than that anyway, because that's not. That's also broken completely. So what do I gotta do? Do I just gotta jump and just hope for the best? I don't think our jump is that good. No, it is not. Okay, one more crunch. Uh, huh. I guess this is where it becomes kind of a puzzle game. <laughs> First person puzzler. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We got this. Um, okay, bring us back. Come on. Sorry we died again. Messing up your story. Okay. Uh, huh. Is there anything else I can do? Because it doesn't feel like I can. I guess I'll go back to the, to the, the throne room thing or whatever it is. Because that seems to be the only option. So maybe I missed something in there. Because it doesn't appear that I can go anywhere else, literally. So, I'll just do that. <laughs> it's so interesting how the spread works, like, from different angles. Okay. So clearly, I missed something here. can't take that bridge and this is just rock oh, maybe up here oh yeah there, that's what I missed yep yep didn't see that there's apparently looks like a staircase it is a staircase Aha. yeah we're learning things we're learning things We've got a functional bridge. I didn't even look up. Should have just looked up. Can I can I make that jump? Or do I have to drop down here? That seems like a logical thing. But that wouldn't take me anywhere else. So probably just jumping. Alright. Or not. Okay. What other options do we have? <laughs> Not very good ones. Okay. Oh, we can take the rest of this. Uh huh. Just have to make sure we don't fall through any of those gaps. Okay. This this makes sense. Yes. Whoa! Whoa! What? Okay. Hi. Alright. Am I supposed to be scared? I'm more just confused. And he's gone now. Okay, so that was the extent of our jump scares. Good to know. Not super scary. Because <laughs> I don't like jump scares. So, I'm happy that they're not very scary. <laughs> I was just more confused. They never did iron out all the glitch. I don't think that was a glitch. I think this is cursed. I think you're somewhere that's cursed. Calibration turned to ghosts. Again, I don't think that's anything to do with the calibration. I think those are just ghosts. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is interesting. Um, how long are we playing? Like 20 minutes? I don't know. This is not a super long game, so I'll probably only get like three episodes out of it, which is fine. Um, 
Okay, we got some caves here. I think the interesting thing is you could kind of take this game just like a little shot here or there just to see where you're going. But really, like, you don't need to shoot it. You could walk blindly if you know the game. Maybe there's an achievement for that. <laughs> to never, never fire your gun and to make it through. That has to be impossible, right? It has to be. Like, you would need muscle memory like a maniac. <laughs> this is still still neat the the bridges and stuff are definitely more neat um because it's interesting to see the idea of there being civilization down here and okay that appears to be on the other side of things is that a rock that's some sort of a rock yes cannot push the rock all right can I go around to whatever that is? Because clearly, whatever that is, I need it. But I clearly can't jump that. There's no way. So, maybe there was a bridge tied there before. Can I? Can I walk this? Now I'm not sure. It's still letting me. I'm assuming this is okay. This this has to be the way. They wouldn't put this in if they didn't want it to be. Oh, glitchy. I'm hearing like, oh. I'm hearing like other people in the cave. Okay, could you stop that? Oh, more bodies. Okay. Does the sound mess with it? Okay, those are people falling. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> Interesting. It was kind of cool having to stay so close to the, the thing. Yeah, I'd rather make this jump. There we go. Perfect. That's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. There's no ghosts. There's no falling bodies. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> um, how do I just follow the follow, follow the side again? I guess so. Keep close. Is there a wall I'm against? I guess I'm just pressed against the wall so close that I'm like phasing through it. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. That works. The bridge. Aha! Uh -huh, we found another thing. Who's placing these out here? First scan. B. Whoa. Well, that's freaking beautiful. How many? How long does it need to charge that up? Oh, there it is. It's in the corner. <laughs> BST. You're not BST. You don't even know. All right, cool. We got a new effect for the big areas. For when we want to rush things. Guess we're going down into the spikes. Smashy spike plates. Okay. This is cool. Um, I feel like I should talk about something. But really, I'm just interested in this game. <laughs> uh, I think I've given up on trying to be an entertaining personality. And more of just, uh, let's focus on the game. Let's focus on the mechanics. All that kind of stuff. Because I'm not an entertaining person. My life is pretty boring. Oh. Stuck. Um, I mean, my job is cool, but again, there's only so many times I can tell you about protecting someone from getting beaten up because uh, doctors don't listen to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Steps. Uh, slide. Slide. Okay. We'll just keep going down. 
this is definitely uh you you would 100 percent know that if you were doing this you are not getting back up <laughs> you're just you're gonna be down here forever and that's just uh that's just what it is now okay that's a wall clearly can't go that way it's pretty way lay well laid out path can't say words okay this thing's giant this is really cool this is it, it's i almost wish that i could see it fully just to see the the full scale and scope of it but i know that obviously that's not the uh the intention of the game so just have to embrace the the strange platforming An upward path. It's even more interesting. Whew, didn't think I'd make that one. Okay. Some first person platforming. Alright. Hmm. See, I love seeing this big scale of things but it's like but if you cover up the wall it takes away from the scale it's interesting like i feel like there's a metaphor in there somewhere but uh i'm not good with metaphors so hello all right up we go oh good we found an upward path which is good considering how far down that we've been sliding <laughs> very claustrophobic and yet very open <laughs> this is uh the, the epitome of uh i don't know <laughs> i'm running out of words this is very cool though i'm surprised that jacob geller didn't talk about this game in his uh discussion of fear of depths because this game is uh pretty quintessential in that i feel like okay we're making this upward jump all right uh can i make that these feel like they're too far away. Oh well. Woo! Just made it. And that's a wall. So clearly we're going over here. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a pillar. No. Just a big room. Maybe these are pillars. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay. Whoa fall off the edge there is definitely an edge okay where did I come from this feels correct maybe more platforming all right that's fine we can manage this oh maybe not how far away is this stuff oh no this is all closed stuff this is just a wall can I not get up here can't mm, mm, mm. okay I really can't tell if I'm supposed to be going up here or not they can't have made this like without this being the way they wanted me to go right <laughs> this has to be it to be this is really annoying though um, any other options oh probably this <laughs> did I come from this way no nope this is new all right uh, yeah clearly Is that a tree? <laughs> oh, of course it's a cult. What's all these sounds being made? Well, you're not the first. The cult was the first. But yeah, again, like, 
trying to make it kind of scary with being a cult thing, but like, I don't know. I think it's supposed to provide the atmosphere of it being a scary game, but like, you didn't need to do that. You didn't need a cult to make this scary. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, let's do a burst. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, there we go. That's a that's pretty effective cult. <laughs> that's actually really cool. Yep, we got the Nowhere King. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, uh, hang on. Okay, so we're at like 30 minutes. I think that's probably gonna be good. So I'll just wait till wherever the next checkpoint is and that's where we'll pause things. Uh, more, more demons. That's cool, it's cool. Demons are fine. Um, but yeah, so I think these will be like 30 minute episodes. So maybe we'll do four or five, uh, depending on how long this takes. Uh, oh, did I activate a trap? Nope, it's broken. Okay. Um, but yeah, so once we hit the other the next checkpoint, we'll say that'll be end. But uh but I'm I'm very interested in this to see where this goes. Um I hope it's not too focused on the horror of it. But uh who knows. So All right. Oh, we have sacrifices. Okay. So yeah, so this will be a good way to stop. So uh, that is all for today. So thank you all for watching. I will uh, go check out my other videos and whatnot. And I uh, hope you guys are liking this. And if not, there's plenty of other videos to see anyway. So uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.